I just realized the Bowie knife still works. This is... As nice as it is to have a Bowie knife every single time you start, this is one of my biggest problems with Cold War. And one of the things that definitely should not have borrowed from Black Ops 4 is... The class customization, because... There's something about starting in zombies... And having nothing... And then... Getting everything again. Like, it was a big investment buying a Bowie knife before. But with a big return, in that you get more points. And I just start with one, so it's easy. Like, what is the point of that? Which seems... To undermine the whole purpose of the Bowie knife. It's just, let's just make it easier. So there's no reason to ever not have it. And then it interrupts the whole flow of the gameplay. As nice as it is to have, like, oh yeah, this is great. Is it really making the game more fun? Look, there's less strategy in it this way. So there was a, there was always some sort of purity in in zombies starting as like just a dude with a pistol, no no perks, no points, no equipment, and then playing through and getting the perks, getting the weapons, buying them strategically, opening the map. You know, it made it a lot harder. There's a lot more brain power invested in, in doing that. So that's, that's my biggest problem with Cold War. As much as the high rounds is improved and the equipment is improved, like, it's just kind of a huge gulf for me as a Zombies fan to get past the starting with a bunch of things that make it really easy. Which is why BO3 is probably my favorite. Because it had the most replayable elements with Gobble Gum and stuff, while still being a pure zombies experience by starting with nothing and progressively getting more things along with having some of the the best maps, some of the best maps, Zombies Chronicles, and uh, you know some good perks too. The best story is is the best. I just had everything that I wanted out of ever wanted out of zombies. So I think my ideal zombies, if it was up to me, I would probably start it like Cold War started with, um, you know, a new story, new people, but some elements of the old, like Maxis and Weaver and stuff. Not that Weaver was ever a part of the zombie story directly. But, you know, we have Maxis and stuff, and we're in the same universe, canonically. So I would start like this. I would retain the classic zombies experience. You start with a pistol. There's no class customization because it doesn't really fit with zombies, like, at all. Just those elements. It doesn't make it more replayable for me at all because meta exists. And it was always better just for the meta to be built over the game because it's an arcade experience. Zombies is... Um, so even though there were metas in BO3, you didn't start the game with it. You had to... You had to make choices. Made a few more tactical. So I would retain all of that. All of that purity. You guys know what I'm talking about. All the good stuff that would stay the same. Um, I would probably keep Gobblegum. If we had to have microtransactions, I think Gobblegum were just... Such a good addition. Even if they were overpowered, you know, it's a choice. It's a conscious choice that you make to play with Gobblegum or without them. I think playing without Gobblegum is more fun. But also at the same time, I think part of the reason I kept playing BO3 was to grind Liquid Divinium, get the Gobblegums that I wanted, just so that when I want to turn my brain off and play with a Perkaholic or whatever, I can do that. Or I can just, you know, play it like it's BO2 without any help at all. Um, and I wouldn't make it lame like the fucking elixirs from PO4. But I would do that. And speaking of, like, the story, I would probably start with an original map. I would have really complex maps. Complex easter eggs. You know, ones that don't take a day to solve. Ones that are a challenge, genuinely. That keep people trying. Like, one of my favorite things about zombies starting out when I was a kid was how elusive it was, and part of what made easter eggs so appealing is the fact that 
it's like when you're playing zombies um it's on a whole different level as opposed to playing for the easter egg and to complete the story so you're playing zombies you're you don't really know what's going on you know you're buying perks killing zombies not really thinking about it and you're enjoying it and then the seeds that is the easter egg is like whoa there's actually something here and i love this mode so much it would be so cool to go above and beyond you know the what i do in any given game and just have it be this really hard challenging experience that i have to plan out you know round per round and do really complex steps and solve codes and stuff and then eventually beat it it's kind of like the ultimate goal of zombies so that's kind of what i want an easter egg to be not the the shitty cold war ones where you know um you can beat it in a, in an afternoon and the the, the game kind of leads you on you want to hunt for that stuff it makes it more fun it makes the map last longer you know what's to what is there to gain from an easter egg being really easy to access for everyone in every map ooh that's new you know it makes people who don't care about zombies able to do the easter eggs cool why are we doing that why, why would why would they care why is that our target demographic yeah so I think Easter eggs should be complex, and maps in general should just be complex. Really easy to get people in and just have fun and die on round three to make them want to come back and get better and try more. You know, a learning curve and a skill gap. Those are important things for zombies. Those are things that have to stay, in my opinion, for zombies to be fun at all. And then for the story, I would make it tie into the original story i would start us off on something new introduce the old characters i would bring back rick Toffin, and you know whatnot not to nostalgia bait i think he's just maybe not all the characters but you know just to make me care like or just characters of my own i wouldn't have these boring ops i would I would have like a new crew, but would have the old crew come back and whatnot. And then we'd have maps that are building to something crazy, you know. One of my favorite uh, theories about what Black Ops 4 was going to be when it was happening and how there were so many maps coming out and we were building up to the Great War. And everyone thought when it came out that DLC 4 was going to be us finally playing the Great War map. And we would be... You know, on the battlefield, fighting Marquez and Apothecans and stuff. Um, obviously, that didn't actually happen. We got Tog, which is okay, I guess. <laughs> but um, everyone thought that we were going to be building the staves in the DLC maps after, like, 9 and Blood of the Dead and stuff. So we thought that each map, there are four DLCs, each map we would be building a staff in. And I think I would retain, that was, that's a really cool idea. You know, DLC 1 would be the Ice Staff, DLC 2, the Fire Staff, whatever. And then in DLC 4, we'd have the Great War. Every player gets a staff, and would feel really epic and high scale. So there's something actually in the story that way. And I think I would do something like that. Just some sort of build-up to, to something exciting. Because that's what Black Ops 3 did, and it had the best story out of all of them. Without a doubt. So... What I would do in my my zombies, but I would think that gameplay is probably the most important thing. Replayability, even more so, and then purity. You know, the zombies formula has c certain things about the zombies formula has to stay the same because it's alluring. It's supposed to be addicting. It's supposed to be challenging. That's what that's what hooked us all at the start when we were all kids, and having a dumbed down version of that doesn't really. <laughs> Doesn't really grab me the same way as the old one did. That's my stance with zombies. But this isn't. Cold War is kind of a totally different beast. Black Ops 4 was kind of the dumbed down version of zombies. Cold War is. Some elements are better, some elements are worse. None of it really matters in the end because of just how little I care about the story. Because of the nature of the way they, they planned it and marketed it and had <laughs> just kind of nothing in it. 
It kind of sucks, because I really like zombies. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Zombies. Well, Call of Duty, I guess, in general, but BO3 Zombies was a huge part of my youth. So, I think Zombies definitely still has potential. People just keep fucking it up. No one's really understanding what is so gripping about Zombies as a mode. You know, we're kind of trying to modernize it and change things that don't really matter. So that nobody cares. You know, what happened to just jumping into Zetsubo and building this club non stop like going for a few rounds and then dying to Thrashers or something? Or trying to build all the bows in DE in one match. That was really hard when we were kids. Nowadays it's just, you know, pull a box, pull a weapon from the box and eat the Easter egg, gets around 100 all in. Not that it's easy, it's just simplistic. I think more steps is always better. Because it makes... Because that's why Origins is such a... You know, masterpiece of a map. Because you're just thinking about 6,000 different things at any given time. I'm trying to find the box right now. And it made it so that... It felt more exciting to play it. Because... Of, you know, how many things are packed into that one map. You know, it's not, every game is not going to be the same on Origins. It's just impossible. There's just so much. That's why, that's why everyone goes back to it. That's why it's revered. And I'm, I'm sad that we didn't get a map like that in Cold War ever. Like, all of the maps in Cold War put together wouldn't be half of Origins. Trying to sucks. What can you do? I don't know where the box is. And there's a couple of reasons why I think the Cold War zombies failed. In general. Um, and it's not such a big thing as like, oh, zombies will never be the same. Again, it's... It's not, I could do it better. I didn't really feel that way. Um, it's just that zombies, what they're trying to do with Cold War is make it different. Uh, in all the wrong ways. And Cold War had some good elements, just they didn't work for zombies. You know. There's a lot about it that's fluff, and at the same time, there's not a lot of substance at all. Biggest thing that's the same for me in Cold War is the Easter eggs are too easy. It's just not what Easter eggs should be. Easter eggs shouldn't be easy. It's not what they're designed for. They're designed to be hard. The first map, I guess, can be easy if it's the first map, but the fact that Firebase Z and Mauer's eggs, I guess Mauer was a little bit harder, but nowhere near GK, nowhere near as complex and intelligent as GK's egg. I, I keep praising GK's because it's just what I think is one of the, the harder good zombies eggs, you know, harder in terms of like not shooting planets in the sky like you do in Voyage. Um, and then the second thing that was a sin is the loadout system, spawning in with a bowie knife. Completely fucks up the flow of how zombies works. You know, it doesn't remotely make any sense why it's being included. It doesn't do what they were hoping, which is to get people to grind and, and customize their thing. They think that that will bring replayability. It just doesn't. It makes it less replayable, it makes it more boring, the experience overall. Because you start out with a one-shot knife until round 10. The whole early game, the most difficult part of zombies, is just stupidly easy. You don't even need ammo. You know, and part of what makes it so difficult nowadays, in terms of high rounds, is that there's super sprinters now, and there's an armor system. You know, zombies are supposed to be more aggressive, which is why the armor system exists, and there's, it's more complex in that regard. But, um, and while the high round system in this game is so amazing, and I will praise that, um, it makes the early game really stupidly easy by giving you so many tools. Uh, it's less arcadey by design, but I think that's not something that should ever be changed about zombies. So I think it's just too easy. Um, and it's just, it's a really big zombie sin. 
because zombies is supposed to be difficult. They're supposed to you're not supposed to have played a map and in the first five minutes feel like you've experienced the entire map. Just not how zombies works. Not how it should ever work. You know, you play something like Town in BO2, and you I already feel like there's stuff that you're missing, and there's stuff hidden. You play Shadows of Evil, you probably won't even do the first ritual in your first match. You know, it's just so hard, it's so complex, it's so massive and vast. You know, you should be able to play it 50 times and still feel like you, there's stuff that's hidden around. That's what's so appealing about zombies. I severely doubt that there's even 10 different hidden things in this map. In terms of like little eggs or elements that I'm not totally getting. Not that I'm not having fun, I'm having I'm having fun, but it's you know, I would I wouldn't play it again, that's the thing. I wouldn't come back to this. There's no reason for me to. I've experienced I've I've played I've played Forsaken already. This is the whole map. I I opened a few doors, turned on pack a bunch, shot a couple zombies. Might play a second time, get the egg done, do some of the side eggs. As opposed to shadows, you know, I'm grinding for liquid divinium. I'm trying the egg over and over. I'm upgrading the little arnies, you know. I'm building the staves. I'm upgrading the staves. I'm building the the Ragnaroks, the Gauntlet of Siegfried. You know, why do I start with all of that? Why is that a thing? It shouldn't be like that. That's enough from you. It's less intelligent, it's less strategic, it's less tactical, it's less fun. It's just less fun. Because this is the whole game, I'm just skipping around. Anyway. So, <laughs> I pretty much said all of that I have to say. Um, zombies still has potential. Zombies is not dead, it's just being wasted. So, maybe it'll return, but BO3 is still pretty good. Custom Zombies is on there. Just keep playing that.